This program consists of a series of short video clips for use on the interactive whiteboard. Each clip presents a different mathematical problem. A year group is suggested for each clip. There are eight lesson starts in total and they can all be found on the Teachers TV website. Wakey wakey! Simon's Aunt Anna is coming to visit this afternoon at 3 o'clock. It's now 11 o'clock and Simon's overslept. Before she arrives, he's got a lot of time-consuming jobs to do. Will he get everything done in time? First things first, it takes him 30 minutes to get up, have a wash and eat breakfast. The living room's a mess. It's going to take him an hour to tidy up and give it a really good clean. He's out of clean clothes. It'll take him 15 minutes to sort his laundry for the washing machine. The cupboards are bare, so Simon must go out shopping, which will take him 45 minutes. He's going to have to stop for lunch. Beans on toast will take him 15 minutes. Simon wants to bake a cake for his aunt's visit. That's another 30 minutes. With the cake in the oven, he needs to get his washing out of the machine. It'll take him 15 minutes to hang it up outside. He still needs to scrub the bathroom, a 30-minute task if he's ever going to get the loo clean. When all that's done, he still needs to allow 15 minutes to get changed and smarten up. Will Simon get it all done in time before Aunt Anna arrives? When Simon wakes up, it's 11 o'clock. His aunt will arrive at 3 o'clock. Getting up and eating breakfast takes 30 minutes. Cleaning the living room takes one hour. Doing the laundry takes 15 minutes. Going shopping takes 45 minutes. Eating lunch takes 15 minutes. Baking a cake takes 30 minutes. Hanging out the washing takes 15 minutes. Cleaning the bathroom takes 30 minutes. Getting changed takes 15 minutes. Using the 24-hour clock, work out at what time Simon will start each activity. Can he complete all the tasks before his aunt arrives at 3 o'clock? I want to build a bigger pig pen for my pigs. Doris, Daisy and Dora. To build my new pen, I've got 18 of these fence panels. Each fence panel is one metre long. Using my 18 fence panels, what is the biggest area I can have inside my pen? Farmer Flora has 18 fence panels. Each fence panel is one metre long. How should she arrange the panels in order to create the greatest area inside a rectangular pen? Night was falling on the museum on the edge of town. The only way I could avoid security was to go in from the roof. All in an evening's work for a cat burglar like me. My client wanted a particular artifact, an Egyptian candlestick shaped like a boat, taken from the tomb of Tutankhamun himself. Once inside, I followed the directions I'd been given. Last door on the right, she'd said. Nearly there. That was when I spotted the problem. The door's alarmed, and there was no other way in. If I wanted to walk out with that candlestick, I was going to need to figure out the four-digit code that would deactivate the alarm. I'd come prepared. It didn't cost a lot to get a few pointers from a poorly paid security guard. He wouldn't give me the code outright. Too risky. So it was up to me to figure out the code from his clues. Number one, 
think of the code as a pair of two-digit numbers with a total of 100. Number two, the first two-digit number is bigger than the second. Number three, both numbers are multiples of five. Number four, the two numbers have a difference of 10. Time to put my thinking cap on. Work out the four-digit alarm code using the following clues. 1. Think of the code as a pair of two-digit numbers with a total of 100. 2. The first two-digit number is bigger than the second. 3. Both numbers are multiples of 5. 4. The two numbers have a difference of 10. Well, there's 32 of us camping, so let's get the tents out then. So we've got 32 of us going camping. We've got four six-man tents and four four-man tents. What's the minimum number of tents you can put up so everybody can have a place to sleep? Hmm. There are 32 scouts going camping. They have four four-person tents and four six-person tents available. They want to fill every tent they take. What is the minimum number of tents that they can bring to give everyone a place to sleep? Right then, Frank. Yes, Scarlett. Another day of decorating. Yes, Scarlett. So, let's get on with it. We've been mixing one, two, three, four tins of blue paint. To my one, two tins of white paint. Let's get mixing then. I think we've run out of paint. Well, let's make up the same quantity as we did before. But we've only got one wall left. Won't that be a waste of paint? All right then, Clever Clogs. You tell me how we make the same shade of blue using less paint. To make the right shade of blue, Scarlett and Frank have been mixing four tins of blue paint with two tins of white paint. They managed to decorate two-thirds of the room before running out of paint. Mixing the same quantities of blue and white as before would produce too much paint. How can they make the same shade of blue while only mixing enough paint to decorate the remaining third of the room? Mary works at the dog's home, looking after rescued puppies. It's her job to weigh the puppies to check that they're healthy. Today, Mary has five puppies to weigh. Puppy one comes in at 3.284 kilos. Puppy two weighs 3.4 kilos. Puppy three weighs 3.38 kilos. Puppy four weighs 3.29 kilos. Good girl. The final puppy, number five, weighs in at 3.165 kilos. Now they've all been checked, it's playtime. Can you put the puppies in order of weight from lightest to heaviest? Puppy one weighs 3.284 kilos. Puppy two weighs 3.4 kilos. Puppy 3 weighs 3.38 kilos. Puppy 4 weighs 3.29 kilos. 
Puppy number five weighs 3.165 kilos. Put the puppies in order of weight, from lightest to heaviest. This kitchen's gonna look lovely when it's finished. So they want new kitchen units like this, and they come in widths of 40, 50, 60 or 80 centimetres. From one wall to the other, it's 180 centimetres. But don't forget the cooker, they come in widths of 60 and 80 centimetres. Do you reckon it's all going to fit in? The kitchen is 180 centimetres wide. New kitchen units are available in widths of 40, 50, 60 or 80 centimetres. The space left will be filled by a new cooker. Cookers are only available in widths of 60 or 80 centimetres. What width cooker and kitchen unit can they install to fill the whole width of the kitchen? Welcome to this year's School Dance Idol! Next up in the street dance category, we have Jody. Let's see what the judges make of her. In this category, each of our five judges must give her a mark out of 10, giving her a maximum possible score of 50 points. So, how did she do? Not bad. Over in the classical and ballet category, Amy and Leah are going to perform something a bit more traditional. What will our judges think of this pair? In this category, each of our five judges